Hey, Jimmy, uh, a lot of people maybe didn't see you guys crashing the, the Pac-12 South party. How have you guys been able to get in the mix and, and, and lead this thing? What, what's been the recipe? Um, for us, it's just been doing what we do every day, come out, bust our butts in practice, bust our butts in the weight room, running, conditioning. Um, and just now we're just finally showing everyone else just what we've already seen, what we've been out, already been doing. It's just, it's just now being able to be put on display for everyone. So, Jimmy, how do you prepare for Stanford not knowing you know, Christian McCaffrey's availability? Um, you just prepare like he's going to play. You prepare for every contingency, whether he's playing or not. You practice full speed, act like he's, if he's playing, we'll be, be prepared. If he's not, so be it. But you just got to go in with the mentality that you're going to see him on the field and you just got to be prepared uh, for what they do. Hey, Jimmy, Jimmy, can you talk a little bit about the player development at this program? You guys are all seniors, but you have gotten better each and every year. It seems like there's a lot of significant progress made in that department. Yeah, um, I mean, freshman year, everyone comes in, you're learning, learning the whole system, learning about the weight room, the rules, um, what to eat, how to build your body properly. And by your sophomore year, you're starting to take advantages of your opportunities, of the extra weight room, extra meals, and anything you can. And then by the time you're like me, you're a senior, you've gained this experience of you know what to do. You've had older guys who played here before you guide you and progress you through this whole experience. And by the time you're at the top, you, it's just your job now to show the younger guys what to do, how to do it. I mean, when we go in the weight room, it's all business. Yes, we have fun. Yes, we joke. But it's still all business. When you go out to run in conditioning, it's all business and things like that. But at the same time, just having older men being able to teach the younger guys what to do, how to do it. And then ha when they become older, having them do the same, that's what we've been doing. That's what we've seen. I know you guys have bigger aspirations, but how much would it mean to this program of you guys to make a bowl, to be bowl eligible for the first time since 2007? Um, that would mean the world. I mean, yeah, our goal is the Pac-12 championship, like everyone else in the Pac-12. Um, just a bowl game, that would be nice, but that's not what we that's not what we want. That's below what we want. Our goals are to shoot for the stars, and if we reach them, that's 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 what we want. If not, we tried. So. Jimmy, you said you guys are preparing like uh, McCaffrey is going to play. Um, you know, obviously he's still had a great season, but I think some defense have found, some defenses have found a little bit more success in finding ways to, to corral him at least a little bit. What are you guys seeing as ways that you can potentially limit him or, or, or prepare for him? Um, the main thing is uh, stoutness within the front three. Um, our D tackles, D ends, nose guards, they, they do their job. We're going we're gonna to be set. Uh, Stanford has a big O-line, strong O-line. Uh, we have big, strong guys, too. And so if we can get our, if our big guys do their jobs and play to their ability, then that allows room for everyone, our skilled players to make plays. And that's what, we, that's what we have to do. Jimmy, when you play these teams like Arizona State and Stanford teams that, while you've been here, have kind of had their way with the buffs, do you – enjoy it more when you show them what this team's all about? Oh, yes, sir. Uh, winning's fun. Everyone wants to win. You can have fun when you're winning. It's not fun when you're losing. And so now that we've finally been able to pick it up and become get on that side of the program, it's, it's the game is so much more fun. It's so much better for us because now we can now we can relax. Now we can have fun. We're not walking around with sticks up our butts trying to trying to play loose when we're so stressed on messing up in the game. And so like now that we can finally, now that we're finally winning, it's kind of relaxing. You can actually just sit there and enjoy the game and not just focus on one mistake that you do. It kind of just rolls off your back. Jimmy, pass rushing seems like sort of a, a contagious thing. When, when you guys, have, now that you guys have started to have a lot of success in that regard, getting to the quarterback and, and getting pressure, does it start to feel kind of like, like a waterfall almost? like? guys are picking up that momentum and, and are able to pin your ears back a little bit? Uh, yes and no. Because us personally, I feel like we're not where we need to be with the pass rush. Um, there have been games where we haven't got a sack at all. There have been games where we've got to the quarterback, but yet he, the ball still gets, gets off. And so I just feel like there's still improvements that we need to make in, with the pass rush. And one thing Coach Mack has said was we've accomplished a lot we know where our goals are, but we've never arrived. 
So we still need to improve. We still need to increase our production in the in the pass rush. Um, we our front three guys they do a great job of collapsing the pocket, which allows the outside linebackers, the DBs that come on pressures. It really allows them to really maneuver, use their ability to work the edge. And if the quarterback tries to roll out, bail out, then they're able to corral it. If he steps up, we have our big D tackles in the inside ready to catch him too. Jimmy. Two to three years ago, were you pretty confident that this kind of season was on the horizon? Yes, sir. Uh, I think everyone from my freshman class feel has that has stayed has felt this from the very beginning. Um, we felt we knew what we were able to accomplish here. We knew what we can do. Uh, we just had we just had to do it. And I feel like this year we finally started to step up and do it. Jimmy, we saw flashes on Saturday of the old Addison Gillum, the guy who we saw as a freshman around here running sideline to sideline, making plays. How close is he to being the player he was as a freshman in your estimation? I don't know. I, I'm not Addison. I can't speak for him. Um, from what I've seen, you know, he's been flying around, doing things phenomenally. He's reading, reading out, uh, making great hits on the quarterback, great hits on the running backs making plays from sideline to sideline, like you said. And uh, that's Addison I knew, and that's Addison I know. So as far as I've seen, he's back. As far as I've seen, he's been able to do what he can, when he can, and that's what we love about him. He always busts his butt. So even even if he's hurt, you still see Addison running full speed nonstop, and so you can never really tell with him. To be practicing against your offense every day, when was sort of the first time that you, you kind of really got the inclination that this group was, was different just in terms of, of what they were able to do, their versatility, and the tempo with which they could play? Um, for about everyone on our offensive line, except for Jeremy Irwin, I've actually been practicing against for the last four years. So they all started out on the scout team, and I played my freshman year, so I went up against them. And so just seeing the guys who are on the O-line get, become more and more and more experienced from p- protecting, the, working on pass rushes against Chidera when he was here and when he was playing to now, they've, they've uh, gained ex- extremely amount of, a large amount of experience. They've done a phenomenal job of just accepting coaching, accepting what they can and can't do and working on it. And they're, now they're more maneuverable, they're more mobile, they're, more, they're stronger. They're, they're more experienced, and now you see them doing things that two, three years ago you, I, I would, be, would be astonished to see them doing. And now I expect it. So they've, they've made tremendous strides. Any more questions for Jimmy? All righty.